Hello and welcome to BioPsych. My name is Peter Karp and I direct the Bioinformatics Research Group at SRI International, a private nonprofit research institute in Menlo Park, California. This webinar series will introduce you to the information present in BioPsych, how we display it, and the many tools available to help you search and analyze information in BioPsych. Our overall mission at BioPsych is to provide you with up-to-date and comprehensive information on microbial genomes and metabolic pathways, together with powerful bioinformatics tools for searching, visualizing, and analyzing that information. We think you will find that BioPsych is the most fully functional web portal for microbial genomes. BioPsych is a collection of organism-specific databases for thousands of sequenced organisms, mostly microbes. We call these databases Pathway Genome Databases, or PGDBs for short. The BioPsych collection of PGDBs is organized into three tiers. Here in Tier 1, we have intensively curated databases that have been subjected to a tremendous amount of manual curation by PhD level scientists. Tier 1 databases have received at least one person year of curation and in some cases much more. For example, EcoPsych is a comprehensive database of E. coli K12 biology. Its contents have been curated over more than two decades from 30,000 publications. MetaPsych is a multi-organism metabolic pathway and enzyme database that collects 2,400 metabolic pathways from 2,700 organisms. Its contents have been derived from 47,000 publications. In Tier 2, we have computationally created databases that have seen moderate subsequent curation. We have about 40 databases in Tier 2. Then, in Tier 3, we have databases that were solely computationally created. They have undergone no curation. In our, in our last BioPsych release in 2015, we had 7,600 Tier 3 databases. How are Tier 2 and Tier 3 databases created? That procedure starts with an annotated genome for the organism, such as in the form of a GenBank entry. Our Pathway Tool software converts the gene and protein information in the GenBank entry into the PGDB format. Next, we run several prediction comment components of Pathway Tools that predict metabolic reactions of the organism, transport reactions of the organism, metabolic pathways of the organism, and pathway hole fillers, or which genes in the genome code for enzymes missing in various metabolic pathways. We also run an operon predictor, we compute orthologs for the organism, and we compute PFAM domains present on the proteins of the organism. Next, we run a series of import tools that import a variety of information from external databases, including importing protein features from Uniprot and gene ontology terms from Uniprot, importing subcellular locations from PSORTDB, <clears throat> and importing regulatory data from Reg Transbase. We also import phenotype microarray data created using, <coughs> using technology from Biolog Incorporated and we can import gene essentiality data sets when they exist for the organism, as well as phenotypic data, such as whether the organism grows under in the presence of oxygen or what temperature ranges it will grow under. And we also create links to other web accessible databases. Note that there's a lot of variability in whether these external databases have data available for a given sequenced organism. Now, if BioPsych does not contain an organism that you'd like to have a database for, you can build the database yourself using a locally installed copy of Pathway Tools, which is free for academic use. You can request a license through our downloads page, which is at the bottom of the home page. Go to Software Database Downloads and then uh, click here to and read through those resulting pages to uh, get to the license pages eventually. And you can also request a license to the downloadable data files containing BioPsych data. Here is an overview of the Pathway Tools software behind BioPsych. Pathway Tools is one of the largest, most comprehensive bioinformatics software systems. It has four basic modules. They are Pathologic, 
the computational inference module, which takes an annotated genome, converts it to a pathway genome database, and then performs this series of computational inference steps. The pathway genome navigator is the component that's used to interactively query and visualize the contents of a PGDB and to perform various analysis operations. The editor's tools are what curators used to interactively modify a, a PGDB, such as adding a new pathway or gene. And Metaflux is a metabolic modeling component of pathway tools that aids you in creating metabolic models and in executing metabolic models. Note that the metabolic pathway prediction component of pathway tools depends heavily on our MetaPsych database because pathway prediction works by recognizing in a sequenced organism known pathways from MetaPsych. MetaPsych is a multi-organism metabolic pathway database that contains pathways from all domains of life, and it's the most comprehensive metabolic pathway database as shown by the statistics here. For example, it contains in 2015 2,300 metabolic pathways compared to 279 modules in KEG and 583 subsystems in SEED, both of which are comparable to uh, the pathways in MetaPsych. And by the way, the 583 subsystems is the metabolic subsystems of SEED. And you can read this publication for a, a much more detailed systematic comparison of MetaPsych and KEG. Let me clarify the difference between MetaPsych and the organism-specific PGDBs in BioPsych. MetaPsych is unique within BioPsych in that it is a multi-organism database containing curated, experimentally determined pathways from thousands of organisms. For example, MetaPsych would contain only those Pseudomonas aeruginosa pathways that our curators have extracted from the literature. On the other hand, a BioPsych Tier 3 Pseudomonas aeruginosa database contains all pathways that were computationally predicted for that organism. Thus, a BioPsych database attempts to provide a complete picture of the metabolic network of the organism and contains the genome of the organism. MetaPsych contains literature-derived pathways only and does not contain the full genome of any organism. Let's now take a quick tour of the BioPsych homepage. This is the BioPsych menu bar. The Sites menu links to the entry web pages we have set up for our more highly curated databases. These pages contain some organism-specific announcements and information, and when you start your session at those pages, that organism becomes your default organism for querying. Here we have buttons for logging in and for creating a BioPsych account. Accounts have a number of advantages and we require creation of a free account after a certain number of page views. When you create an account, you have the option of setting preferences that control how you see the site. You have the option of setting a preferred starting database. By default, everyone starts at E. coli, EcoPsych, but if you're working on a specific organism and you always want to start at that organism's genome, then you can set that as a preference. You also need an account to work with smart tables, which are extremely powerful and covered in a later webinar, and your account will allow you to obtain email updates from BioPsych. This region of the page shows you your, the current organism that your searches and other operations are directed against. The, the help menu takes you to a host of useful web pages, including our BioPsych guide, a glossary of terms, a guide to searching BioPsych, and other material that will help you get the most out of BioPsych. Let me take a moment to quickly introduce you to some important tools that will be described more fully in later webinars in the series. These tools are useful both for navigating the genome metabolic information space and for analyzing high throughput data. Our first tool is called the Cellular Overview and is accessible here. It is an organism-specific metabolic map diagram that is zoomable and searchable. Each node in the diagram is, is one metabolite. Each line is a reaction, and both can be identified by mousing over the respective element. The diagram can be searched using the commands on the right, and it can be zoomed using these controls on the left, similarly to Google Maps. 
The next diagram called the Genome Overview is accessible from the Genome menu. It depicts the entire genome of the organism. Each little shark tooth is one gene whose left-right directionality indicates transcription direction and whose up-down directionality indicates protein coding versus RNA coding. Color indicates operon membership. The third diagram, called the Regulatory Overview, is also accessible through the Genomes menu. It captures the full regulatory network of an organism and is also zoomable and queryable using the operations on the right. The two rings in the center depict regulatory genes. The outer ring depicts other genes with known regulatory influences from the inner rings. Like the other diagrams, you can mouse over elements of the diagram to identify them, and you can query the diagram using the commands in the right sidebar menu. And we group together in this diagram as one cluster, a set of genes that all respond to the same set of regulators. In the next webinar in the series, we'll introduce you to searching BioPsych.